Warning signal now. So they're getting set now. Runners are moving in. Artorias Bale, three dollars into two. Now just nudging back out of shade to two fifteen. We often see that a lot with markets these days. They overreact, come in a little bit shorter, and if you wait long enough, they generally roll back out late on. That's the case here with Artorias Bale, who was initially very, very heavily supported. They're almost set to go. Green light on now for race number two. Stand by for a jump at Terrelgan. Set. Away and racing. Artorias Bell, very awkward to get going. Was two lengths last to get into stride. Away quickly. Gary on stilts will lead it up narrowly. Here comes to Goey Pies, swooping across from the outside. Swooping, that is. <laughs> Trying to get through afterburner and then making ground. Artorias Bale squeezing through Rage and Cajun. Gary on stilts a fair way back with Freaky Freddy and Rico's Mouse. It's afterburner, the leader. Just gets in. Afterburner does enough to win this by a neck from either Rage and Cajun or to Goey Pie. Three lengths away, Gary on stilts into fourth. Then Artorias Bale from Shea's Wings in the last two Freaky Freddy and Rico's Mouse. 22.99 the time. So the red should do enough here after Burner for Christian Wilk does get the verdict number one first. We'll stave off the wall chasing. Now pretty rough and tough early there and Dugowie Pie was almost across and then as he was taking the lead he was dragged down from behind and that gave Afterburner a second chance on regaining the lead. And he's taken that chance, number one afterburner first. Son of Shimmershine, Little Biddy, raced by the Eye Candy Syndicate for